here we have our login screen. Just enter your username and password as provided during your account setup process. Upon login, you are automatically taken to your view reports area. This will list all requests within the system. In order to request a background check on a new applicant, select New Request from the main menu. Once you have the signed release form giving consent to run a background check, you can come here to enter a background check into our system. This gives you the option of selecting your combined report. You can see what is included in the combined report by hovering over it or clicking the name. Individual reports are able to be added on the right. Click Next. The first tab will ask you for the applicant's personal information, such as name, social security number, date of birth, and address. Click Next. This next tab will ask for any other information required, depending on the type of background check being ran. In this instance, the combined report has a federal criminal background check, so we need to select the state. You'll want to choose the state that the applicant currently lives in. Click Next. This page allows you to select an individual within your company to receive a notification upon completion of the background check. Click Next. The Review tab allows you to review all entered information for accuracy. If you do need to correct any information, you can use the blue Back button to go back to the appropriate tab. Click here to confirm that you have a signed release form. You can also provide your applicant's email address so that they will receive a copy of the report. Click Submit Report. You will see a screen confirming that your request has been submitted successfully. Now if we go back to the View Reports area, you will see your report listed here. Once you have multiple reports in this area, you can easily search for an applicant by their social security number or name. Under Action, you can view the Log, Add Reports, or View a Report. The Log Notes area will show any progress notes on your reports, such as attempts to contact a former employer or delays in criminal research. You can click on the applicant's name to view the Details area, which includes options to view all of the reports or a summary report, and also provides the option to add new reports. You can also click on the blue View button to view the individual reports. This opens in a new browser window, and from here you can view the details and print the report if necessary. Going back to the main menu, you will see that you have an option for payables. This will list any invoices. The FCRA tab allows you to print copies of the pre-adverse action and adverse action letters. Just search for the applicant by social security number or last name. Select the appropriate letter. Provide the applicant's mailing address and select the representative within your company whose contact information should appear in the signature block. Click Print. This will open the letter in a new browser window. From here you can print the letter. Applicant Entry is a free module you can add to your dashboard that allows you to have your applicants enter in their own personal information to save you time. We cover this add-in in another video. Please reach out to your sales representative if you are interested in this service. Along the top of our website are some additional features such as live chat. Our live chat operators are available from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Important forms are available for you to view and print. Just click on the version you would like on the right and it will open up in a new browser window. The About area provides more information about our company and web services. Contact provides contact forms for billing, customer support, and sales. You will also find our phone number, fax number, and mailing address. You can also log out, 
view your typical report turnaround times, and view any important notifications.